ain't nobody else tell you they love you. I am telling you that I love you. I want you to know from the bottom of my heart that I mean it. It's vlogmas, it's vlogmas, it's vlogmas, it's vlogmas. Vlogmas! Say, I don't find it funny with those lights in my face, mama. Y'all, I got my baby on the side of me in the bassinet. Why the heck did I think about this, like, before? I apologize in advance because she gonna keep pressing that button and we gonna keep hearing baby music throughout the whole video. But y'all, it is vlogmas day four. Day, day four. Can you believe? Woo! Girl. We got to day four, baby. We got 25 days, baby. Do you hear me? I had to bring my New Orleans accent out. No offense to the New Orleans people. I love y'all accent. I wish I could be from New Orleans. <laughs> Cause baby, I know it don't sound like how I want it to sound, but it's okay. <laughs> but baby, 25 days. You two quaking right now. 25 days, it's too much, it's a lot. I already post two times a week. Sometimes I post three. Baby, that be a lot. But every day until Christmas, I'm determined to do it. Can you believe I got this far? I got today four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Four is day four. I am going to be doing a wash and go on my hair. And I'm going to be talking to you guys about what Christmas means to me. But before I get into that, I wanna give you guys a little update on my hair. Boo, edges are on fleek. Do you hear me? Fleek, do you hear me? Baby, my edges grew back. Who got edges? Me. Who got edges? Me. Y'all ain't never lost my edges, so I don't know how to act now that they grown back. They growing back thick and long, baby. Thick and long. This is the oil. I showed you guys it before. The link to where I got this oil from is down below in the description box. I got it from Cash the Glow. Y'all. And I used the oil on my face. I'm going to do a whole video on the whole line what I think everything so you guys can know where i get these edges and this glow from boo but go ahead and hit that link in my bio and start ordering boo because why not so i am going to be splitting this hair down the middle before i start telling you guys what christmas means to me i'm gonna let you guys know that i'm not using anything special today I'm going to be using, as I am, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Smoothie, my Wet Line Extreme Gel, and my Eco Styler Gel. So let's just get into it. First, I'm going to start by telling you guys, like, how I felt previously about what Christmas means. I knew Christmas was Jesus' birthday, but I felt like everybody else felt that it was a day to get people you love presents just to show them you love them. But as you guys know, this year has been a change for all of us. We've been going through the pandemic and the pandemic set me down and it helped me learn stuff about myself. Like the pandemic helped me in so many ways. I've been learning so much stuff about me and I've been doing so many different things and I've been switching up my beliefs because I've been doing a lot more studying. My feelings are changing about a lot of stuff. They may sound crazy, but that's just how it is. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm not gonna pretend that I didn't change how I feel about Christmas because I did. This year I'm doing stuff a lot different. Okay, so every year I spend like freaking, I wanna say freaking $600 a piece on my children. On mostly toys we are not doing that this year i'm sorry i spent a lot on london because she needed a walker and stuff like that but this year we're getting a handful of toys clothes and shoes that you need but the rest of my money is going towards the community that takes me to my point i feel that christmas 
is about giving. Ever since I was a young girl, I always want to help people. Like when I see homeless people, I've always wanted to give them my money. I feel like this Christmas is all about giving. So I am about to teach my kids a new concept. They believe in Santa Claus. I'm all for letting kids be in kids, but I need them to know that Christmas is about Jesus and how Jesus was. And I've been reading the Bible so much this year, I feel like we should be living to be more like Jesus. After my kids open their gifts on Christmas, I may not even let them open their gifts first. I think we may get up early, go down to the homeless shelter, and feed the homeless. That's exactly what I want to do, just to show them that they have it made. So this year, I've been trying to organize an organization of my own to where I am not doing it by myself. I have come out of that mindset of me doing everything by myself. I am putting the organization together myself, but as far as giving, I am looking out to my people to help give. And when I say my people, that could be anybody. I've been thinking about this for months and I haven't come up with a name yet, but the organization is already in place. I just have to figure out legal ways to do it, but it's happening. That's going to be my Christmas gift to myself. Starting my organization to give to others. That is the biggest thing ever. What you put out will come back to you. Multiply. When I say multiply, it's gonna come back multiply. I'm just letting you know right now that the more you give, the more you receive. But if you are given to receive, then you won't receive. <laughs> You have to give to people from the bottom of your heart. I have a real soft heart. I gave a homeless person $20 before, and y'all, he, he just about snatched me out the car. He was like, oh my God, thank you. I pulled off with a smile, told him God bless, and I had to pull over in the parking lot, and I bawled because I was just like, I wish I could take these folks home with me, but you just can't help everybody. But you can contribute. You can do God's work. I hate when people just be like, I'm not gonna give this homeless person X amount of money or a dollar or any change because they're just gonna smoke it or they're gonna do something bad. You don't know what they're gonna do with that money. And I learned this a long time ago. What people do with the money you give them is none of your freaking business. When people ask me to borrow money or anything, I'm not grilling them. Older folks do that. They want to know why, what you doing for, when it's coming back. Mm -mm. When somebody asks me to borrow some money, I don't want to know why. If they're in need and you're helping, you're doing God's work. You may not look at it like that, but you are. And that's what type of person I am. I feel like Christmas is about giving. Me and my family are going to be giving back to the community, giving back to the world. I feel like my organization is going to be worldwide. I already know it is, just like my business is going to be worldwide. And I want you guys to come back to this video. If this video was posted less than a week ago, I want you guys to come back to this video and click on my organization in the description box because it will be down there to give back to the community. It's all about love, it's all about giving. Because God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. You have to give with a generous heart. And I've made it my duty to give to somebody every day. I am going to be doing giveaways every Friday in December. You need to go to my Instagram account or you can go to my Facebook. Everything will be linked down below in the description box. And you need to enter my giveaways every Friday. I feel like this is going to help my children in the long run because growing up, I didn't see my people doing that. Like, I didn't see too much giving going on. Only time I seen giving was around birthdays and Christmases. I got accustomed to only getting things on Christmas and birthdays. So I'm very appreciative of everything I get. No matter what it is, it could be a piece of bubble gum. Thank you for the gum, sis. But seriously, I want to teach my children the value of life. Next year, it's going to be all about giving and receiving and when i say giving i mean give from the heart and when i say receiving we're receiving blessings whether that's thanking god 
for waking me up this morning that is a receiving gift that's a gift from god if you don't look at life that way i don't know what you're doing because sis god don't have to have you here y'all i don't have buku money sitting around i'm an average person no i'm not i'm an extraordinary person because i'm not average at all i'm just a single mom trying to change the world anybody can give if you got a dollar, you can give. If you have blankets in your house that you don't want, you can give. I'm telling you, you will feel a lot better about yourself when you know you are helping other people. Y'all, when I stopped doing Motivational Monday, that probably was the worst thing I probably could have done. I was discouraged. I felt like people weren't listening to me, but I had someone tell me that I need to start like, doing Motivational Monday because I actually was touching people. I really want to change the world. Like, I really, really want to change the world. I want everybody to know that what you think is going to multiply. And I want you guys to know that you can think yourself out of a situation. You can speak positivity over your life and your life will change. And I want you guys to know that you are loved. I love you. If ain't nobody else tell you they love you, I am telling you that I love you. I want you to know from the bottom of my heart that I mean that. Because this Christmas is a good Christmas. And it's not because of designer. It's not because of the PlayStation 5. It's not because of toys, shoes, materialistic things. It's because the power of the Lord is in me. And I feel like giving, 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 giving. You should always give. But this month, we're going to triple the giving. It's Jesus' birthday. We got to celebrate all 31 days. Forget 25, 31, boo. Y'all know how we do. We got to celebrate our birthday for two weeks at a time. But we need to celebrate Jesus like that. Because I'm telling you, what you put out there is going to come back to you. Y'all, I didn't just wake up and feel like Christmas is about something else. I've always been that person. I'm always the person to give the shirt off my back to people. If I feel like I need to give you $100, I'm going to give you $100. I'm not going to think twice about it because deep down inside, I know that that feeling is coming from God. You guys have to be more generous and more giving and caring. You guys have to open your hearts up to love one another. That is what Christmas is all about. Being more like Jesus. It's Jesus' birthday. Why not be like him? Why not? If you know me and you knew me for a long time, you know I'm always going to celebrate God. I don't care what the occasion is. I don't care how I act on Snapchat. Just know I'm a Bible total. I might not know everything, but I know a lot. Christmas isn't about designer to me. Three months ago when I started my business, I feel like, okay, I'm elevating life. I got to look like it. So this Christmas, we popping off in there's some designer clothes, designer shoes. We just going to be dressed. If you're going to spend your whole paycheck for one day, why not spend it on other people? As y'all know, I don't get a paycheck. I am self-employed, self-made, self-owned. You might not have the same belief as me. You might feel like Christmas is about showing your family that you love them. I've always thought about that. I always thought that's what Christmas was about, but I feel like this year is different. This year is about giving. I hate to get all biblical. I mean, no, I don't hate to get all biblical because I love the Bible. I love God. Can't nobody ever change my mind about that. I just want to let you guys know like how I truly, genuinely felt about Christmas. Like this year is something different within me. It's something different within the world that has me like this. There's so much stuff going on in the world these days i've always been for god but not like i am now i've changed so much and i owe it all to god of course i'm gonna do god's work you gotta go out with a bang when i say go out when god wants you he gonna come get you you can't be scared to go out with a bang go out with a name that's what i'm doing i want people to know that's the girl who doing big things got my own business got my own youtube I got my own organization and I'm giving to the world with my organization. I'm giving to the world with my YouTube channel. I'm giving to the world with my business. I want you to feel loved. I've always been that person. I want you to feel loved. I've always been a person of love and I want you to feel it. So yeah, if you ask me, Christmas is about love. Christmas is about giving. 
Christmas is about using your heart. Y'all know I talked the whole entire video. I'm going to be back and show you guys how my wash and go came out. I feel like it's pretty. I don't know if it's pretty yet because I, I can't see. <laughs> but yet, I'm kind of in my feelings because I'm just ready to get this thing started. So we ready to get started with this thing. But guys, I'll be right back in just a hot second. This is what my hair looks like. All I did was pop on some lashes. Lashes from Glamour Glitz, by the way. I want you guys to keep in mind, if I said throughout the video, I want you guys to think about it. If you feel like you don't have much to give, because I've had people tell me that they don't have much to give, I want you to think about this. I'm not rich. <laughs> I have bills. I have children. I'm giving out of the kindness of my heart because I want people to feel better about themselves. What I'm giving, I am going to receive it, whether it is in money, whether it is waking up in the morning, that's a blessing also. So just think about what I said, do God's work and love everyone. That's all for this video. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Leave comments down below on what you think about this video. And you know it is Vlogmas. I am recording 25 days straight, so come back every day for Vlogmas. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.